All right, what's up guys? Me and Leia are back at the Cosmopolitan. We're at the Block 16 food court hall and restaurants. And it's about lunchtime. Like we said before, we love breakfast. So we're gonna get some breakfast type food at the egg club behind us. But there's a lot of options to choose. So we might, you know, get other things here at the Block 16 food hall district. Let's do it. And this shake looks crazy from Holstein. Everything around us is like a food court, so you just grab your food and sit down. But Holstein is actually a sit down restaurant. Bill and Lisa went there and we saw their alcoholic shakes and it looked delicious. So we had to get one of our own. This is the cookie and cream shake and it comes with a cookie sandwich ice cream. And usually, if you sit down, they give it to you in like a big jug, but we're not eating there. Yeah, our shake is non alcoholic though. So that's the sad part. He's gonna try the shake first. Oh, you look really nice. Good. Try it with the cookie. Oh. Take a bite of the cookie. Ooh, so good. I'm in heaven. It's good? <laughs> I died and went to cookie heaven. Why would you put alcohol in it? Mess up a good dessert. So you guys know me, you guys know I love cookies and cream. So this is their Holstein's cookies and cream shake. They're known for their shakes and burgers. I mean, their name, Holstein Shakes and Buns. So let's see how this is. Mmm. It is so thick and creamy. On the sides, it's like encrusted with cookies and I guess cheesecake. Let's see what it is. Mm. It's like hardened cream with cookie crisp. This is usually supposed to be on the shake, but let's take a bite of this cookie sandwich. Wow. Cookie sandwiches are one of my favorite desserts. So you know I like that. But yeah, the cookie is really soft and the ice cream is vanilla ice cream. This is, like Leia said, dessert heaven. We spoiled our appetite with eating dessert first. Just kidding. I could eat everything, but let's try this the egg slut. So this is the slut at the egg slut. Oh, so this is their specialty. So it's just a... Egg in a jar. So this is a coddled egg in a glass a cup with buttered baguettes. So let me try to open this up. All right. Let's see, this is an egg in a glass. Mm. We'll have Leia try it for us. What do I do? Do I just pour it over all the bread? I really don't know what you're supposed to do. It's okay. I guess that's how you do it. Oh, there's a lot of egg in here. Maybe let me get a fork. It's my first time having egg slut. Yeah. I'm a huge fan of eggs. I can eat them any type of way. Breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Oh, Same. this is potatoes. Oh yeah, potato puree, that's what it is. Oh, I'm just, I don't know how you're supposed to eat this. I'm just gonna throw it all on here. Like the um, bruschetta, how do you call them? The bruschetta? The bruschetta, bruschetta? bread? Oh, yeah, yeah, like that. So I'm gonna pop the egg yolk. think that they put potato in it but it's in very interesting but it works awesome. mm -hmm. so Leia prepared it nice and well for me all right so this egg this is 
consider this my first time too. I've had it a while ago in the original location at the Grand Central Market in LA. But I totally forgot how it tasted, but oh yeah. Look at it, it's just oozing. Look at this egg. This egg is looking really thirsty. Look how slutty this egg is, guys. Let's see. Mmm. That's messy. That was really yolky. Let me get some of the potato puree. I mean, I'm gonna be honest, it just tastes like a really runny egg on a buttered baguette, which is like, you know, if you're Vietnamese, Vietnamese people eat baguettes and bread all the time, so I'm gonna be honest, it's not that crazy, especially for $11, this egg. But I can see the appeal to it. It's, it's interesting, it's an interesting dish, it's trendy. And it has like some little, I get some chives on it to give it a nice fragrance. But the best part about this is the potato puree with the egg, it's just nice and buttery. But other than that, it's just a, you know, a really indecent, slutty egg. What do you think about that, this being a first timer? I think I've never seen an egg on eggs with potatoes, but I like what they did here. It's good. I like it. At least it's not nasty. It's, it's a good egg. Yeah. It's good. Yeah, I think it's good. I just think it's kind of overrated. That's all. I really love this shake though, guys. I'm really in dessert heaven. I love Oreo shakes. This is my favorite. This is a Chick-fil-A Oreo shake was on my list of top Oreo shakes. But I think this one is on the same par or has surpassed it. Actually, it has surpassed it because it comes with a little ice cream sandwich. <laughs> the only thing is though, it is $12, which is pretty pricey. The one with the booze, the vodka in it is $15. That's pretty interesting, you know, a shake with vodka. I'll have to try that next time, but you know, it's a little bit too early to be drinking right now. But you know what, it's five o'clock somewhere, so maybe we should have got it. So we got this because Leia wanted something to drink, like a shake. But I would say that this is definitely on the dessert side of a shake because it's really thick, you know, and there's like a cookie sandwich. And yeah, we said that because we we're supposed to go to the district donut bar and get a donut, but we're all sugared out right now. Mm -hmm. So we may or may not get that. Yeah. I'm not mad though. This is good. <laughs> all right, guys. So that's it for our Cosmopolitan Block 16 little mini food tour and we're heading to the beer park beer park up next so yeah, if you like this video guys like it comment down below some other places we should try in vegas and subscribe for more vegas, vegas and food vlogs deuces, deuces.